I heard that it was a you know a category one and um, you know I wasn't that concerned because this hall has survived many different things you know and so I wasn't concerned at all and a lot of my neighbors weren't we didn't even move the patio furniture I was inside and suddenly water started gushing in the back doors and I had never seen anything like that and it didn't have I thought the rain maybe was coming sideways I didn't know what was going on but I heard something that sounded like a freight train it was as if something was like butting up against the building. The whole building was shaking and my doors were rattling. And so I just brought all my animals into the center room, closed all the doors and everything. And it was just, it went on and on and on. And it was just terrifying. And then my neighbors across the street, Daniel and Chase, who are great, they called and said, Rachel, I think your roof is off. The windows came out and then it basically just peeled off the roof up here. You could see um, that these sheets of uh, tin are in St. Rose Church and in the depot area, they're wrapped around trees. It just basically peeled off these, took the rafters with them, the wings. I'm 61 years old and I was a little girl when Betsy hit and I lived uptown New Orleans. And I remember being on the screen porch and watching trees, like huge oak trees being uprooted and going down the street cars sheds everything like that this is what this felt like and then this came and there was absolutely no indication that it was going to be something like this we've been it was pretty devastated by this but the hall itself it was just as if it was as if it was coming for it <laughs> it's like oh my god uh, and it was so frightening and i don't ever want to go through that again i mean it was really really frightening and and i think a lot of people feel the same way that they were in their house hunkered down and it felt like tornadoes were ripping through here you know um yeah we were not prepared for it at all